everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I'm going to unbox and do a quick review of the 4K transfer of Flatliners. Now, I have to tell you, is when Arrow Video announced this uh, on 4K, I was very, very excited. I'm a big fan of this movie. But at the same time, I was kind of let down as well because I thought we were going to get a limited edition treatment from Arrow with this movie. Uh, but we didn't get it, unfortunately. It makes you wonder sometimes with Arrow what, the, what way they're thinking because when you see movies like like the Phantom of the Mall getting limited edition treatment and yet Flatliners can't get any kind of attention. Yeah, you, you sometimes wonder. Thankfully, there was a lot of attention to the 4K transfer and for the most part, I was very, very happy with it. We'll get into that now quite soon. As for the movie itself, I have to admit, it's, there's a serious amount of talent behind this movie. Uh, right from the likes of the director of photography, you can see Jan de Bont is the director of photography who went on to have a great career in directing. Michael Douglas also produces the movie. you got James Newton Howard that does the music for it. And of course, Joel Schumacher directs it. So a great cast, there, a great crew behind this movie. And then of course the cast itself is absolutely remarkable. You got Julia Roberts, Kiefer Sunderland, Kevin Bacon, uh, William Baldwin, Oliver Platt. Absolute amazing cast. And if you're wondering what the movie is about, and just in case there's anyone out there that doesn't know, uh, it really is a great movie. But it's these these five, that group of five that I just thought, spoke about. Uh, they're all med medical students and they all want to know is their life after death. And what they start doing is they start flatlining each other and bringing each other back. But unfortunately, when they do come back, their sins of the past come back with them. And it's, it's a very intriguing movie, very, a very unique movie as well at the time. And uh, I had a fun time with this, uh, an incredible suspenseful movie. And some horrifying moments in it as well, mainly down to what happens to Kiefer Sunderland in this movie. Uh, again, I'm not going to say anything, but if you've seen the movie, I think you know what I mean. So yes, it, great to finally get this on 4K. Great, had a great time revisiting it. So uh, let's quickly unbox it and uh, yeah, I'll show you everything that's inside it. Right, so here we go, Flatliners. Right, so I'm just going to say at the start is that I am not the biggest fan of this uh, slipcover. Uh, but I knew that going into this. It was actually one of them releases that if I didn't get a slipcover, I wouldn't have cared too much. But look, I got the slipcover. I appreciate the fact that I did. Uh, but I do prefer the original artwork so much better. And I have seen better from Arrow when it comes to original artwork. But I'm sure there's fans of it out there. It's just, uh, it just wasn't for me. But yeah, that is the uh, close look at the artwork anyway. And then I'll take us onto the spine of it there. And you got your flatliners. And then take us around to the back, and uh, I will just zoom in, uh, zoom in here so you can pause it there and have a look at some of the features. But as per usual, it is absolutely jam-packed uh, with features uh, that we've come to know and love with Arrow Video. And then just take us around to the bottom there and just give you a close look at some of the technical aspects as well. So uh, yeah, that is the back of the uh, slip card or slip case and uh, we will take this out and I have re reversed the artwork and went to the original and that's the one thing I love about Arrow Video, you know, you have that option to go back to the original artwork and uh, I do, I'm such a massive fan of this, this is the cover that we all know and love. So uh, right, so take us onto the spine of this one and then I'll take us around to the back and it's the exact same as what I showed you on the, uh, on the slip case. So open it up. And uh, what have we got in here? You've probably got a booklet, which I'll go through now in a second. But uh, I'll just quickly show you the disc up close. So uh, no Blu-ray in this, just the uh, 4K alone. So uh, yeah, just move that, close that, and take out these, what I've done as a postcard, is it? All right, so it's an upcom um, upcoming title. I think it says The Boxer's Omen. Never heard tell of it. So uh, yeah, and then move that to a side, and then onto the booklet itself. And uh, yeah, kind of similar to that main artwork. Uh, but it is different as well, and that's I'm always praising that you know, when you see different artwork uh, through a set. So uh, let me quickly just walk through, through the book, and I presume you have the uh, the production credits at the back, and I'm sure they spoke about the transfer as well. I'm sure it's there somewhere. And uh, yeah, just going to quickly try just a few stills from the movie, and a bit of a write-up there as well. So uh, yeah, simple little booklish, and that is everything that we get in this release. So, um, you know, it's a shame that we didn't get a limited ed edition treatment, but look... I think we all wanted it for the 4K and that's the most important thing. Right folks, so there you have it. That is everything you get with Flatliners. Right, so onto the 4K transfer. But before we do, as per usual, let's go through some technical aspects first. It's got an aspect ratio of 235 by 1. It supports Dolby Vision and HDR. 
It's got a DTS 5.1 audio. It's got a running time of 114 minutes and it is a native 4K disc. Right, so this one was going to be interesting to review on 4K because it's another dark looking movie. I seem to be going through a spell at the moment with dark movies. I had Event Horizon last week which I thought was too dark and I recently just picked up uh, Doom on 4K and let's face it, it doesn't get much darker than Doom and I'm happy to report that that movie actually holds up quite well on 4K. And now we've got Flatliners and just like uh, Event Horizon, Flatliners does support Dolby Vision but I'm happy to report that it doesn't darken the picture near as much as it did with Event Horizon. Now it does darken the picture of the Dolby Vision, but I have to admit, it actually enhances the viewing experience of this movie. It just adds to it a lot more. So I was very, very happy to see it. Uh, the grain structure in this movie is, in, is very healthy looking, it has to be said as well, because I did check out the Blu-ray as well. And uh, there is some scenes in that movie where the grain looks very noisy and it can be a little inconsistent where I had no issues at all with the grain on this. Yes, it can be a little heavy at times in some of them interior shots, but it's a few, it's not all the time, it's a couple of shots and uh, it shouldn't bother grain hairs too much. Uh, the palette of this movie is a lot warmer as well, it has to be said. And again, I think that's a welcome uh, addition to this 4K transfer. The black levels are absolutely perfect as well as the shadow detail and there is some incredible fine detail to be seen. Again, a lot of them are in the uh, exterior shots because you do get a lot more natural light uh, where the interior shots you wouldn't have the natural light in there so it might be a bit harder to see. But uh, there is a lot of fine detail and again it's all down to the clothing textures, uh, facial details as well. But you will see it in some of the alley shots as well with the run down, kind of run down buildings and uh, some of the graffiti on the walls. It just looks absolutely incredible. So very very happy with the 4k picture on this and Arrow have done another fantastic job on it. It's also got a DTS 5.1 audio and it, again it would have been nice to get a Dolby Atmos but I have to admit the 5.1 does sound great uh, you know it's there is a there is a bit of activity there in your back speakers uh, and it's cleverly used sometimes as well and you do get a good sense of atmosphere with this movie as well and uh, I don't think you're going to have too many complaints with the 5.1 audio so all in all folks I think this is another winner from Arrow Video and if you're a fan of this movie I think you owe it to yourself to check out this 4k release because it has improved on so much over that previous blu-ray and that blu-ray was a quite a decent looking blu-ray it has to be said as well so uh, yeah I think he's going to be very very happy with it so that is it folks that is it so as per usual if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and its transfer and uh, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then I'll see you soon bye bye